Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, real fast, I got a good 10 minutes. Yeah, I know how I can talk, but so. <laughs> I just want to go over a few things that I need to um, make aware of before and after someone books me. All right, so first thing first, when a person is interested in booking me, um, when they call me or they inbox me or however they reach out to me, I ask them, the first thing I ask them, um, do you know, do, have you looked at the flyer? Do you know what plan you want to take advantage of? Okay. Um, um, if the person says, um, yes, you know, that means they looked at the flyer because how you going how else, how else are you going to know my rates if you don't, if you haven't seen the flyer? So if you already know, yes, that means you, you kind of knew. You know, exact, not kind of, you know exactly what it is. Because if you come out with, the, you know, how many days you won and how much the price was, you had to look at something. You know what I mean? Or if you say, no, I will send you um, uh, my flyer. Okay. First thing first, please, before you send me any money, read over that whole flyer from top to bottom. And if you are considering really, really, really sending me money, Make sure that you read that flyer three, four, five, six times. It's business. It's business. Especially if you take advantage of um, any one of the sales or any one of the regular ones. You know what? I ain't going to say especially either one. In any one of them. Make sure that you read that shit. Not just for me. Any Anything that you do in life. And if they got a whole bunch of shit that you, you read and stuff. Read it. Understand it. You paying money or you putting your life on the line. or li Anything involving you to involving in something. And they send you some paperwork or whatever. Read that shit. Don't just be like, hey, yeah, yeah. I just want to do it. Oh, I just want to lose my stomach. Oh, I just want to. No. Yes, yes, you can, Miss Pringle. My whole thing is you got to understand that there is no rescheduling or no refund on any one of these sales. Any limited, whether it's a sale, unlimited, any whether it's a sale or not a sale, and you get the unlimited, meaning you can you can book Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. I don't train on Friday, so if you book every day. There's no rescheduling on that shit. How? Why? How? How? When you already got six days a week. What am what I rescheduled for because you didn't make it? Is that fair? No. No refund. So if you book. Now let me give you an example. Say for instance you book with me unlimited, right? And you do. Um, you start in October. You start in October. But you. Um. You book now, of course. You book in advance. And you get to August. No, no, you you, you book for um September, right? But it's August and you come and say, you know what? Oh, you know what? I forgot I had an engagement. I won't be really available for September. Can we move them on to October? Nope. I don't care if you started or not. The rules on that paper. On that fly, it says no rescheduling. So you got to you gotta make sure it's set in stone. I'm going to be available this month. You already know that you if you're going to a fucking cruise in September, you already knew that. You should. Or if not, people do things to spare the moment. I ain't going to lie. They do. But, mm, mm No. So the only option that you have is to send somebody else in your place. A female. I don't train men. I do the classes so here periodically. That was my first one that you've seen, and I have another one coming this Saturday. But I don't train men, so you cannot send your husband, your boyfriend, your, 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 your side creep, none of them here. If you are going to send a female in your place, they cannot just show up. I'm going to decline them. This is business. I need you to have that person. First of all, I need you to tell me who you're sending, and then I need to for you to have that person to call me. I'm not calling them because if they really want it to work out, they're going to make it happen. So they're going to get in contact with, yes, I am um, – um, I'm filling in for Kim. Okay, now now me and this person need to talk because I need to know that if I was going to put somebody with Kim, right, or whoever, um, I want them. I want to make sure that um, the person that you send in don't have medical issues that your person couldn't go with Kim, go with somebody that I have already with Kim. Sorry, 
Because sometimes you see I have two, three, four people together. So I can't put, I'm, I'm aware of who I put together. I don't just put somebody that have back problems with somebody like Debo or myself. Like, that just don't make no sense. It's not fair to either myself or Debo, whoever, and or the person that have injuries. So person that have injuries, I like to train them by themselves because they need special attention, special care. This shit is business. It's a lot that goes on behind this, you know, all this lollygag in the front of it. It's, they have to sign an injury waiver. It's a paperwork, a shitload of paperwork that you have to go over. We go over together. We discuss. Then I give a recorder, and I make sure um, um, on today's date, it's 7 2019 If I have it with me, your name is, you say first and last name. She understands that Nigel of Inable Western will not be responsible for any health issues or injuries that may occur in her basement or on or around her property at 109 stuff, blah, 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 right? So I say all that. I We do all that. So this this shit is not just like I'm just, you know, acting like because I'm just in my house working out with people and getting changes that this can't get salty. I, this got to be business. It got to be business. It got to be business. Listen, I don't care where you coming from, how long you had to drive. If you know you got a half an hour session, but you ain't hit me up and it's already, okay, we supposed to train at 9 o'clock, but it's 9.15 and you ain't come. I'm assuming you're not coming. We got half an hour. The half an hour may feel like an a hour or two hours, but it's only a half an hour. So if you ain't come in 15 minutes, I'm assuming you wasn't coming. So I was able to run to get gas if I needed because I might go somewhere later and I can use this time to run to get a little gas down the street or I can run to the store and get whatever I need something or I can run upstairs and do do something for you. Because know, you ain't hit me up. You never said that you wasn't coming. And now it's 920 and I left and you I, I was here. You ain't pay me to wait. You ain't pay me to read your mind either. I will wait if you tell if you call me. But just know when you got here at 9 15, 9 20, whatever, we got 10 minutes. A power in 10 minutes. And then that's it. Because it's not fair to the person that's after you to have to wait because you want now your whole half an hour. And if you read the flyer, going back to the flyer, the flyer says it's a half an hour. No, I'm not rescheduling you. Also, if we when we go over dates and we write these dates down together and we make sure, yeah, I got this date. Can you do this time? Yes. You writing them down? Yeah, I got a pen. We going over and all we going over all these and then all of a sudden you come on your wrong day at the wrong time. And you standing there, you like, oh no, this is what I wrote down. No, no, no. Okay, that's what you wrote down, not me. You wrote that down. Cause after we finished writing the dates, we went over. What you got? Okay. Yeah, I got the two. What you got? What you got? We going over the dates like that. So if I made a mistake, I'm going to take that out and I'm going to put you at somewhere else. I'm going to say, oh, my bad. I did. I wrote down whatever I thought. And then I'm going to give you another date. But if you wrote it down, I don't care if you're coming an hour away. It just, this is what it is. Business is business. Period. When I first, first started this, I ain't want to do it. Even doing hair because you know how women can be catty, but business is business. Keep it business. We ain't got to worry about it and shut shit down early. I don't, I could turn down a dollar. I, I'm all right. I'm all right with turning down money. Money is the rule of all evil sometimes. And I don't want to bank my life on just having money. I can, I'm okay to say no. I learned to say no to a lot of shit, and I'm cool with that. I'm cool with a lot of people not, not like me. I'm cool with people going to say eat what, what I, about me. I don't care, but I'm going to keep this shit business, and that's the last. That's the, Your first impression sometimes may be your last impression. So you don't want, you want to give your best at the first time. That's how I look at things. That's just how it is. I, this shit is already a struggle, so I'm not trying to come in here and have a big struggle on trying to deal with you and having an elephant in the room because you didn't read the flyer. You lost on September. If you ain't, if you say, oh, I can't even make it September. I know I booked all them days, so I just lose out. No, you can send somebody out that might be interested. I said there's no rescheduling or no refund. You, you, you got the fire. You read it, so that means you said, oh, cool, I cool. That's a chance I'm gonna take. I'm not gonna just sit, feel as though, oh, I feel bad because no, 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 no. You, I feel bad that you didn't read it, and now that you just dropped money in my account that you can't even get back. Let's just keep this business. That's, listen, if you don't come a whole month, right? Say, for instance, you didn't come a whole month. 
You haven't did none of your sessions. Never came none of your sessions. If I took one day to step out because you ain't come 30 days or you haven't came in 15 days, and now today I, I ran out because I felt like you wasn't coming. You ain't coming 15 days. So I was able to run to C-Town Store if I wanted to, and you came. That's not my fault. Especially you didn't call me, and you knew that you ain't becoming incessive days, and that's fine. Everybody go through whatever. That's okay. But the respectful thing is would have been, let me give her a call and say, I know I haven't been in a while, so let me give her a call and say, you know what, Skittles, I'll beat it as a mark. Because I ain't no elephant going to be in the room. I know the struggle, baby. I'm never going to make nobody feel comfortable because you haven't become. I'm not going to be like, why you ain't come? What you, do? you know you ain't come. It's not, it's, 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 listen, you paid for those states. That's not for me to grind and get on you and why you ain't come. Oh, I'm mad at you. That, that's not, it, it ain't ever going to happen. When you come in here, it's still going to be the same thing. Good morning. Did you eat? Let's get it. Do you, do you got your gloves? Let's stretch. Come on. You know, how you feeling today? That's it. I don't give a fuck why you didn't come for 15 days. And that's not to be mean. This is business. You don't owe me no explanation at all. Therefore, coming to this, when you call out, when you, when you do call me to say I can't make it, you do not have to tell me why you ain't coming. It's either I'm coming or I'm not or I'm going to be late. That's it. And know why I want it like that is because, say for instance, you told me X, Y, Z, girl, you know, whatever, uh, you know, um, such and such was stealing, so we all got locked up, blah, 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 whatever, right? Just giving the fucking story, you know, nothing real. Because, you know, some people take it, oh, and Skittle said somebody was stealing. No, just just an example. So, you, um, such and such was stealing, and, you know, blah, 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 whatever. And, um, you know, now I had to go, and we had to go to the, po the, the, the police department, and, you know. And you telling me this whole story. And you thinking that you told just me, but you done told somebody else. And then somebody else find out and be like, well, damn, all I, only person I told was Skittles. But you forgot you told somebody else, too. I don't want to know your business. I don't. I don't want to know who you fucking, who ain't, who you ain't fucking now. I, I don't want to know. I don't. I keep the shit business. Anybody that comes down tell you, you ain't, you ain't going to get me talking about other people. When people walk out that door and somebody else in here, I don't be, wait till they leave and be like, yes, but girl, you're talking about them. I ain't ever going to do that. And ain't nobody on the other side of the screen could tell you that I did that. And if I did, it was, it was in good spirits. Like, child, she got it in. Or, girl, you see how, you see, you see how she used the way? You see how them arms coming in? And, and that's how I'm going to keep it. That's how shit, that's how shit stay in prof profession. I'm going to make sure I keep it like that. I'm going to make sure I keep it like that. So you don't know too much. I don't know too much. And all we know is I just want to learn your body. That's it. That's it. So before you know you riding down to me an hour... You make sure that you, that is your time. Now, you make sure you write your times down. We go over them because I'm not going to keep running back and forth to my book. Camp, uh, tomorrow, um, this time or tomorrow because the initial time we wrote them down to make sure we was on the same page. Why well, I got to keep checking the book every day for your time? That's not fair. And that's making more work for me. I'm trying to make this shit short and sweet. It's hard. I say it every day to y'all. It's hard. So me keeping up who my next client is and making sure I'm on time, um, I don't want to have to keep going back and check for your time too. So we need to go over your dates and times. That's cool. We can go over it again because people fuck up. You know, I'm not saying that nobody perfect and nothing like that, but I'm just trying to make this very, very, very easy and very, very professional. So when you take it from me, take anything from me, you can take from you. If you lie, you lie. But the next person know your ass lying because they'd be like, nah. And every time I came down there, Skittles was on some old, some grimy, nasty, you know, low down, ratchet, dumb shit. It's not going to ever happen. It's not going to happen. I can't. I won't. I won't. This shit is business. And people, you know, don't get me wrong. The type of business you in, the books, um, getting certified for this um, type of business that you're doing, it don't, it don't prepare you for what people go through mentally. And sometimes you might have to sit and talk to them, you know what I mean? And 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 know that it's gonna be right there. And I ain't gotta be telling your business somebody else or, or whatever. I don't tell you my business, but I'm just saying if a person just wanna talk, some people just need to talk and get it out or you know, cry it out through the weights. Cause anybody know I make you get I make you make you if you're going to cry, you're going to cry lifting that weight. And whatever you're thinking about and whatever's going on in your mind, you're going to lift them weights and use that what's on your mind, the strength through that. 
We ain't gonna sit here and be like, uh, and me sitting, and, and then what? Who who was he fucking? Oh my God, for real! And then who he who? And then, that ain't what it is right here. I want everybody to know that. I want everybody to know that. Also, if we doing Skype, I'm not never calling you. I'm not, cause I feel as though if you want this work, you're gonna call this phone. You're gonna call my my Skype is hooked up to my phone and it's hooked up to my um my laptop. I shouldn't have to call you. If you not never, I had one girl to say, oh my God, another girl came to me, and I'm going to tell this because it's, it, it was out there, who cares? The girl said, oh, the girl was mad, you know, because you never called to see what happened to her. Anything could have happened to her. That ain't my fucking problem. She ain't never come, okay? But I'm about to call her and say, oh, I noticed that you haven't been coming. I know. She knows she ain't been coming. That's not, that's not my job. That is not on my paper. The going back to the flyer. That's not on my flyer. So why should I have to call you to tell you that you ain't coming to some shit you already know? I'm not doing it. Another thing. You got sessions, right? And we booked. And you, um, you, you're here with me today. And you say, uh, Skittles, you got anything for tomorrow? But you're not booked for tomorrow, but I so happen to have a slot open for you tomorrow. Right? And I say, oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I do. I have a, a time open for tomorrow. You want it? This before, this today now. Now, tomorrow, you want tomorrow too. Okay? And tomorrow come, and you don't make, oh, like, oh wait. So, we book for tomorrow. So, I'm telling you. That you got to have to take away from one of the days that you have booked already to accommodate the date that you're going to do tomorrow. Right? Y'all got me? All right. Tomorrow come. And you don't come? Don't think you're going to get back the 22nd. Don't think that that date that you took away from that you're going you're gonna to get that date back. No, you take this L. Because just like you said that you could have did tomorrow, I could have had somebody else that call. And I could have told them that that date that you wanted to do for the next day was booked. We're going to play this shit fair on both sides. I'm no different. I got to follow the rules, too, because this, this is how it is. And we ain't not never going to come in here and it's going to be an elephant in the room. Not never. Not never. I'm never going to feel like I got to be training you and you upset with me or I'm, I'm feeling some way. We're going to sit down. We're going to talk this shit like women. And, and, and pass that shit right on and, and let that shit drop right in that garbage over there and we're going to keep it pushing. Or if not, you can't get over while you're feeling your type of way, bye-bye. I'm so serious on this shit. I'm not going to make this, I'm not making this like any other trainer. I'm not, not knocking nobody else, but I'm not going to be catty. I'm a female, but I'm straight like a nigga at some times. I'm not going to do it. You don't get me wrong, you have some men that's bitch-ass niggas too, but I'm just not that, I'm not that chick. I'm something straight different. I'm not going to do it. I don't want to do it. I have built a relationship with mostly everybody that came, that comes to me. You know, everybody have a character, everybody have a different sense of humor, everybody, and I learned everybody that come around me because I can just pick up on that shit. But I'm always going to be me. I'm not going to change how I am with people who do because that's how you are. I can kind of break your, break your, your spirit sometimes with the, with my, you know, me seeing that you upset about something or whatever, I'll try to, like, break it. But if you still stuck on stupid, like, you, you know, not seeing that I'm trying to let you know, like, we, let that go. You ain't got to be mad about that shit. And let's just keep it pushing. Then, you know, we, you, you can stop coming. I don't give a fuck if you're spending thousands of dollars with me. I'm okay to say oh, I'll pass on it. Another thing. I got a bell. When you walk in this backyard, there is a sensor that goes off. Sometimes that shit breaks, especially when it rains. If you come back here and you tell me you came and you left, I came. I got cameras, though. I could run a camera back, but I ain't because I'm going to say that you're you a grown-ass woman or whatever. You, you ain't going to lie about something simple like that. So if you say that you came, if you say that you came, and you not did try to get in contact with me to get inside this basement. You ain't come to me. You ain't come. And that's okay. I'll see you on your next session. With open arms, let's get this work. I ain't going to be like, oh, I know you lie. I'm not going to do all that. When you come in, it's just, just like I told I ain't never speak to you ever. Good morning. What you eat today? Okay, let's get this. That's just what it's going to be about. 
Just know you're not getting another date. We're not going to reschedule the date that you said you came. You didn't knock. You didn't call me. You didn't go to the front door, ring this bell, because try to get in here. If I paid you, if I paid you, okay, ain't a, there's a difference if I just came on some volunteer shit. You know, I don't owe you nothing. You don't owe me nothing. But I paid you, and I want my service. I want my service. So I'm going to go out my way to try to get in touch with you. I'm going to ring your phone. I'm going to call that 681 Oh, she ain't answer that phone. Let me call through Facebook. Oh, she ain't go. Let me call, especially if you on my, both all my social medias. Call me on all them shits. <laughs> Bang on this basement door. I'm right here. I'm right here. That shit right there. Go to that front door. Ring that bell. Not saying that you got to go through all that, like, and I'm not going to hear. The only way you do all that, I'm not here. Or something really fucking happened to me. Cause Come on. Come on. But I need you to get in contact with them. We, 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 we trying to keep this business. Real business. And that's all I wanted to come here and say. Read the fine print. That's on anything that you book, you do. You read the fine print. Because you're going to feel real salty when I say, I'm sorry, we, we can't. Especially if you didn't read it, because then I gotta, I, I'm gonna resend you the flyer, because I'm, I'm gonna say what I gotta say. I'm gonna say it, you know, and anyway, what you say is how you say it. And I ain't saying, never saying nothing nasty, a person that really know me, even if you read it through text, because sometimes you can get texts is fucked up. You can text back and forth to people, and then it's the way you think they saying it wrong, but I'm quite sure a person that speak to me, that talk to me, know my demeanor is never to be like, yeah, bitch, ah, like that. No, um, you cannot reschedule those days as um, first initial uh, visit. We basically said that there's no reschedule or re, re, um, re, reschedule or no refund. You cannot take any of the money that you did pay for and revert it into a sweat vest, leggings, they dox tees. You can't do that. So what that's doing for me and my purpose behind it, which I really don't have to explain that, but I'm going to, um, that's going to make your ass either come or, or lose your money. That's my job. My job is from the rip is to put pressure on you. My job from the rip is to put pressure on you. I'm telling you this to your face. Whoever that book me or going to book me. That's my job. My job is to make you feel uncomfortable. Even before you start training with me. I don't pay this bitch 300 and something dollars. And she's saying there's no refund or no rescheduling. I got to go. Oh, I just gave this bitch my money. Don't just give nobody your money. Well, now I got to find somebody that everybody probably find an excuse why they can't come. We have to keep it business. I will not. If y'all ever heard about me locking ass down in this basement, it was because the person really got out of the character and we had to take it there. And <laughs> Real talk. But I try to keep it as business as possible. It's a must that we keep this shit business as possible. We be on the same page. The, the most stupidest question is the one that's not asked. Let me say that again. The most stupid question is the one that's not asked. Especially when we're doing business, we grown. All you got to do is say, um, um, we went over our dates. But can we go over it one more time? Yes. Yes, we can. We can go over it again. I'm standing outside. It's my session. Oh, I don't see. I see that Skittles didn't open the door yet, and it's you know it's five minutes after. Wait, something must be wrong. Let me knock, or let me hold on. Let me call through Facebook. Don't text me. Call, so I can hear the phone. So it won't be that I maybe took a shit. And my phone was sitting somewhere, and I, I ain't get it. Because I'm assuming I ain't hear nothing. Ain't nobody came. Oh, okay. My job is not here to wait on you. My job is not here to read your mind either. My job is here to get you these damn results. And mentally fuck you. So that... So that, that you can understand that it ain't easy. I'm trying to make it easy as possible. But in the meantime, I ain't trying to steer you wrong to let you think that this is going to be a breeze. So again, read the file.